Hello everyone, it's Paul Driscoll here, aka The Drisk, and I thought I'd do another review of a game I've been playing quite a bit of recently, and that is The Terminator for the Mega CD. What we have here is really a fun run and gun game, being a bit more thoughtful and tactical affair than the typical all out action of similar games. It's also chock full of secrets, which I love in games like this. The game is loosely based on the Mega Drive version, which on release had been slated with average reviews, about 50%, due to being far too short repetitive and too easy to complete. But thankfully for this game, Virgin Games really pulled out all the stops over the Mega Drive game, with a whole new development team and upping the levels from 4 levels in the Mega Drive original to 10 levels and beefing up the graphics and level design to make it a really a much better game overall. And so being a standalone new game really instead of just a port. In fact the programmer brought in to do the programming for this game, Dave Perry incidentally did the Mega Drive original, but for the Mega CD it was Silas S. Warner. Now he's a man behind the original Castle Wolfenstein and beyond Castle Wolfenstein Muse games that would be the inspiration for id Software's Wolfenstein 3D games. All this action is interspersed with a terrible grainy full motion video. If you squint and tilt your head slightly then you might just about make out clips from the film as it's sets out the action. Okay, in fairness, the clips do a lot in setting the scene and tone and story of the movie, and despite the graininess, I think it's a worthy inclusion to the game. But the best thing about the game, without a shadow of a doubt, is the music. Tommy Tallarico is the man behind the music of most of Shiny Entertainment's and Virgin Games. So we're talking Earthworm Jim, Cool Spot, Global Gladiators and MDK to name but a small number. In fact, incidentally, Tommy has the Guinness Book of Records holder for having worked on the most video games. In his 20 years plus in the industry, in 2013 he was awarded the Guinness Book of Records for having worked on 300 games in his long, still active career. For this though, the Terminator game, he has done an amazing job, some say and I agree, probably his best work, perfectly capturing the 80s action music and tone of the film and really improving the game tenfold, with the music and locations being for me at least the main drive to get further in the game. And this is why I love the game. Sure in reality it's quite a plodding run and gun game in many respects, with the biggest challenge you face to be honest, fighting the restricted game controls with you not being able to choose the direction of how you shoot. But as long as you accept those constraints and work with them, you'll find it a wonderful game here chock full of clever maze-like levels full of risk and reward secrets for you to find. So for me it's a thumbs up and track down this game and give it a go. You won't be disappointed.